Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another Scrapped Madness a video day where Laura and I film and have a guest designer. Our guest designer for today is Sarah Swan and I'll link her video down below, her channel down below. I absolutely love her style. She's very simple and it's very different than what mine and Laura's style is and I'm grateful and glad that she joined us on this video a day being our guest designer for today. And like I said in pre the couple previous videos, we do have a video a day and we will have a guest designer every day for sure. A couple of them will have a couple um, where there's two. So I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys join us along and check out everybody's video, ours especially every day, obviously. In this particular layout, I just kind of put things together. I really didn't have a sketch or anything that I wanted to follow. I just wanted to do two things. One, I wanted to get up all of my small little adventures that I did last year and the year before done because I didn't have very many photos of the adventure. Just the memories in itself was perfect for me. And I took a few photos here and there along the way. This particular photos is of the expo that Heather from Heather's Crafty Life and myself went to in the month of July 2018. And I will have, I think the first few videos for the month is going to be of that trip. I'm finishing it out. And this video a day collaboration that Laura and I have done works perfect for me because I'm able to get those small little things done for this month because obviously I have to have a video a day. And what I decided to do here was I wanted to do tons of layering because that is my jam. That is what I do along with distressing. The photos of what I have here for this particular layout is of me getting my feet, like my toes done and getting a manicure and a pedicure done for my feet and my nails. But I took photos of my nails and I went back to the same place that I always get mine done. They remember me even when we were stationed here the very first time. And I absolutely love the ladies there. They're amazing. I love what they all have. And my feet always come out amazing because their techniques and Everything like that is perfect. And they're very close to where I live. They're like right outside the gate for me since I do live on Fort Gordon. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to just jot outside the gate, get them done, and come on right back. And this was taking, these were taken I think like two or three days before I went to... Jo um, Duluth, Georgia. That is where the expo is for me or for Heather and I. That's like the closest one. And we decided to go. She wanted to go um, this year or you know on 2018 and this year for 2019 I am going with another scrappy friend, um, Amy. So I'm excited for that as well and that's in July as well for this year. And there is all of my layering. I did tons and tons of layering on there. And here's the thing. For the glitter girl, I don't have much left of any of the ephemera or any of that stuff with it other than the paper. So I am also trying to stick with my goals of doing up all of these smaller collections and getting them used up and out of my stash. And all I have left for the ephemera is the stickers like you're seeing here and a few little bits and pieces. And I had to dig into the, oh, what's her last collection? Head in a Cloud. Cloud yeah, Head in a Cloud. Because I didn't have any paper ephemera. All I had was the stickers and a little bit of the... I think all I had is the stickers and then the ephemera. No, I didn't even have any ephemera. I had to use the ephemera from Heads in the Clouds and I had to do stickers from this collection. That is why I needed to get some of this stuff used up because I just don't have anything left. And the Head in the Clouds do really match the Glitter Girl collection. 
and I put a dragon up on the top. It's a sleeping dragon. It honestly has really nothing to do with this, but I thought because, you know, they're fixing my my toes and they covered up my toes, not that I have bad feet. It was, I got a, one of their spa for the legs and toes, like their spa, I guess, package. And I got some sea salt done and that kind of stuff. And so I thought, you know, a sleeping dragon. And then in the bottom, I added the unicorn to make it kind of like I went from a dragon to a unicorn. <laughs> so it was kind of that magical theme. And you'll see what I do with my title as well. So I placed this little rose down there. And my journaling goes down where that little... Um, I guess cloud is that I placed. That's where I put my journaling down and I just explained what I was saying about the photos. And I do a camera. And then pretty much after this, it's done. I didn't do too much more. Make sure that you go check out Laura's um, channel, obviously, and then check out our guest designer, Sarah. All of the links will be down below. Make sure you come back every day because Laura and I will always have a video through the whole month of March. It'll be 31 videos. And if her and I can be able to get through Scrap Timber last year, I think we can do um, this. And let's see here, what else do I do? So I get that down, I get the Sleeping Dragon down. I think it fits there perfectly. I like how the title or the tail of the dragon kind of swoops around onto the photograph. And then I place a couple of butterflies and dragonflies down on the bottom where the camera's at because my fo my feet just looked awesome. I loved how they turned out as well. Obviously the still shots will be coming up at the end of the video. And I placed this little circle just in the middle to give me something a little bit different and I t do magic for the bottom part of it and I go glitter magic is my title for it. And I go, I think there's another, I know I pull out another sticker as well. Now I will let you know, I have been filming my layouts in February and I'm doing the voiceovers a little bit closer to March and into March, obviously. So sometimes I'm gonna be like, I can't remember what I put down. Let me, let's finish and watch out because I wanted to get ahead of myself so that I didn't fall behind and I didn't want to be trying to do a video or trying to do the video, the process video, the voiceover and the photographs all in the same night like it happened to me in Scrap Timber. I'm trying to stay ahead. So I'm hoping and praying that it happens. And so my title is going to be Super Glitter Magic. And it is kind of super glitter magic. I feel like that that's the whole thing of getting a manicure and a pedicure done is to do all of that for us so that we can turn, that the magic turns us into um, super people, you know, adventurer people, just to have something fun done. You have to do things for yourself too. Sometimes us moms forget about doing things for ourselves and we do everything for everybody else. And that's kind of why I wanted to document this and plus my toes were just pretty cool their things were done so the still shots will be coming up make sure again like i said check back every day for laura and i for sure check back also every day because our guest designers are different every day as well and i'm just placing down little bits i do know that i go through everything and then i find these stars and i place the glitter stars everywhere just to add a little bit of glitter along this and then I think I get out the enamel dots too because I have enamel dots that are from I think they are the head in the clouds ones they're either head in the clouds or the glitter girl enamel dots that I have left I can't remember I took them um, I don't think I had them left in the package anymore and if you hear anything in the background I do yep they are glitter girl I did have them in the package. If you do hear anything in the background, my daughter is in here while I'm doing my voiceover. So sometimes she doesn't know how to be a little bit quieter, but it's okay. You guys are used to it. So there are my still shots. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.